Well, tonight we are learning more about the strategy that Colin McCraney's defense team is using to try to get a new trial. As we first reported, they are alleging juror misconduct, but now they claim jurors were on their phone during testimonies and in the deliberation room. WDHN's Aaron Dixon has the latest on the defense motion for a new trial. Coley McCraney was found guilty on four counts of capital murder by a jury made up of six men and six women just over a month ago. Now his attorneys have filed for a new trial and feel that they have a good shot at getting it. McCraney was found guilty of killing Northview High School teenagers J.B. Beasley and Tracy Hollett 24 years ago. After looking into the two weeks of court proceedings, McCraney's defense team saw signs of juror misconduct. We're not necessarily alleging that... Um, that there was in fact anything improper. Um, however, when you start looking at timestamps and things like that, um, we're requesting this new trial based on these Facebook social media posts. They are alleging that several jurors were on social media during the trial and that one juror was even on her smartwatch during a testimony. I'm looking over there from asking questions and I'm seeing a juror on, on their, their watch which goes against Judge William Fillmore's rule when he told jurors not to be on social media and stay off their devices during the trial. They also say jurors were on their phones and on social media in the deliberation room, the same room that it took them two days to reach a guilty verdict and 13 minutes to reach a life in prison without parole sentence. If that in fact occurred, which it appears to have, that is a big problem. They plan on bringing in the whole jury to testify. Harrison also says that during the deliberation, one of the jurors sent a question to the court inquiring about a Brady violation. Well, that means to me that they were in that deliberation room on their device researching the law. A Brady violation is when the state or authorities withhold evidence that proves the defendant is innocent. He says that they are not accusing the state of this, but that they are claiming that a juror was relying on outside information, which is against the judge's instructions. McCraney has two scheduled court appearances this summer, a formal sentencing hearing in June, and then a hearing to discuss the possibility of a new trial in July. Both hearings are set to take place here at the Dale County Courthouse. Reporting in Dale County, Aaron Dixon, WDHN News for the Wiregrass.